everybody, welcome to Book Chat. My name is Leslie and I am the Reading Safari and Stream Coordinator for Monterey County Free Libraries. Today I'm bringing you another book. This one is a book of poetry um, called Lord of the Butterflies. This is by Andrea Gibson. Andrea Gibson is an American poet and an activist um, who writes performance poetry um, on the subject of politics. LGBTQ plus issues, social justice, and although their um, poetry is at its core performance poetry, it lives perfectly well on the page. So this is her latest book of poetry. Uh, it was published in 2018. Um, this book has poems about Donald Trump, love poems, poems about family, and one of these such poems is a poem about family. Um, it's called Photoshopping My Sister's Mugshot. It's very, well, sort of long, but it's very powerful and I'd like to read it to you today. So, Photoshopping My Sister's Mugshot. I crop out the trailer and the splintered remains of the front door. I crop out your name all over the news. I crop out the sawed off shotgun they found hidden in the yard. I crop out the blood vacant faces of every soul sold to. I crop out their family's haunted hearts. I rotate the image until you are upside down, hanging from the monkey bars, hollering my name. Andrea, look what I can do. I zoom in until there is no lighter beneath the spoon. Just ice cream dripping from your face and me trying to teach you how to blow out the candles the day you turn two years old. Your cheeks, pink balloons, giggling away gravity. I give more detail to the background. I pose you beside our bloodline, our grandfather throwing his liver through the kitchen window, our grandmother on her knees sweeping up the glass. I zoom in to the pieces she didn't find. I find them in the sole of your shoes on your worst day of junior high. There is a thin line between skewing the truth and giving a panoramic view. I don't know if I'm winding the lens or just making an excuse when I say you were a kid the first time you used. You wanted blue hair and a boyfriend, not a conscience that wouldn't have a good vein left, not an abscess in the arm where you would one day not hold your family with, not me falling off the wagon of my unforgiveness, running to the police station, begging them to re replace your photo with a negative, your dark side in full light. The filth hungry scream in your body every time you tried to get clean. The clinic that told our mother you would die if she didn't send you back out to the streets to find the poison, to kill the bugs. How I'd count your legs when you walked into a room. How I still do. But that isn't the right exposure. Because you are also the kindest person I ever knew. And that in itself has been its own dark room. Considering the ugliness is to scale considering our family tree and how there isn't a person who loves you who isn't dead at the branch. How loving you less might have been the sweetest gift I could have given my own life, but how that sweetness would have rotted God's teeth when every Christmas morning you woke me at 4 a.m., more excited for me to open my stocking than you were to open yours. How do I say that to a judge and not sound absurd? How do I say the truth isn't the right filter? The truth knows nothing of who you almost were, but I do. I just click a button. I undo one tiny thing, and there you are. And that is Photoshopping My Sister's Mugshot, my favorite poem from this collection, Lord of the Butterflies by Andrea Gibson. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today for this book of poetry. I hope you enjoyed the poem, and I hope that someday if you're in the mood for some really powerful poetry, you'll pick this up. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.